I'm Mike Madewell with Hunter Industries and I want to make a quick video to show you how to set up your flow sensor on the ACC2 controller. Now remember the ACC2 controller can manage up to six different points of connections with uh, six different master valves and six different flow sensors all into the same controller. So for that reason we're going to be creating something called flow zones. And so, so think of a, a flow zone kind of like a point of connection. So we have to tell the controller for this POC, we're going to be using this master valve and this flow sensor style and size and everything. And that's going to be governing these specific stations that live in that flow zone. So it's almost like assigning all the participants to a point of connection, if you will. So that will be the flow zone construction. And then the other thing that we're going to be um, deciding upon is going to be flow monitoring versus flow management. Now, the majority of you will be doing basic flow monitoring, and that's where the controller manages the uh, individual flow per station on the most basic and simple of setups. And that's what the majority of you will probably be using. Flow management on the other side is a more advanced setting that you tell the controller basically, look, I've got X amount of volume of water. Go ahead and get through all my stations, but don't exceed that volume of gallons per minute um, because that's my capacity. And you can go ahead and run through all the stations as you see fit uh, to get through them faster. But again, it's more of an advanced setting and we're going to be selecting flow monitoring for this basic simple exercise. So we'll go ahead and get started. So one of the first things we're going to do is go in and select flow monitoring versus flow management. So from the four buttons here in the display, I'm going to hit main menu. I'm going to take the dial and if you notice that little blue chapter base there, I'm going to scroll to chapter two, chapter three, chapter four and go to flow. I'll tap the dial and then flow operations is highlighted. So I'll tap the dial again and I'm going to scroll down to enable flow monitoring because that's what we're looking to do. Not management, but flow monitoring. I'm going to tap the dial to select it. And you'll notice we get this kind of uh, mapping screen and that's going to give us the five steps that we've talked about here in the video. Go ahead and take a cell phone picture of this to uh, memorize these five steps. So now that we've selected flow monitor, it gave us that little punch list of the five items that we have to complete. And the first item is going to be to actually create the flow sensor. So we're going to be going over here to main menu and then we're going to scroll over to devices where we're gonna select a uh, flow sensor and we're gonna have to tell the controller if it's a Hunter flow sensor or any other manufacturers, we put in the offset and K factor, uh, as well if it's a decoder controller, is it at the controller or is it on the two wire path? So the second piece is to select the actual flow sensor. So again, I'm gonna start on main menu and I'm gonna scroll over to devices, tap the dial, scroll down to flow sensors, tap the dial, and it says none from the factory, but I'm gonna scroll down to, for example, Hunter, and you can see I've got location controller. If this is a decoder controller, it could be on two wire path module or wired directly to the controller. As I scroll down, I can highlight the model, which is the size, and scroll through the various sizes, two inch, one inch, and so forth. Or I can come back over here to other, and then type in the offset and the K factor if it is another manufacturer's flow sensor. So the third step in the process is we're going to be creating the pump or master valve called PMV. Uh, we're going to scroll over to devices and we're going to be selecting in the selections there if the master valve is normally open or normally closed. Usually it's normally closed. Um, so we'll do that under devices on the menu. So the next piece is going to be to select the master valve. And for that, again, go to main menu. And we're going to scroll over to devices, tap the dial. Oop. I'm gonna go back and over to devices, tap the dial under PMV operation, and you can see here pump master valve number one is wired directly to the controller and it's normally closed. So we'll leave it in as that selection. So the fourth step is we're gonna create the flow zones. And to do that, we're gonna be scrolling over to the same flow chapter in the controller. And we're gonna tell the controller that flow zone number one, for example, will be flow monitoring, not flow management. So the next programming piece is going to be to create the flow zones. And for that, it's under flow. I'll start on the main menu and I'll scroll over to flow, tap the dial and move down to flow zones. 
Now you'll notice up here it says flow zone number one and its name is flow zone. I can scroll down here and make sure that I have flow monitor selected. And once I do that, then I secondarily want to go to where it says flow map. And I'm going to tell flow zone one that he's going to be using flow sensor number one, as well as pump master valve number one. All right, so the next piece is we're gonna to need to add the individual stations to the flow zone. And when we do that, we're also gonna be telling the screen, I'll show you in a second, um, what master valve will be working with that flow zone and that station. And once you do that, then we have to go through to each station and tell it the same thing. There is a copy and paste function in there, and I'll show you that in a close up here in a second. So the next piece is going to be to assign the various stations to that flow zone. So again, we'll start from the main menu, and I'm gonna scroll over to Station Setup. It's under the Stations chapter. I tap the dial, the first selection is Station Setup. I tap the dial again, and here I have Station 1. It shows Flow Zone 1 or none right now, so I'm gonna scroll down and tell Station 1 to live in Flow Zone 1. And I'm gonna go back up, and you can see I've got the pump master valve one lined up to use for him for flow zone one, station one. Now, once I've done that, I can hit copy and I can scroll to the next station and hit paste. And then go next station and hit paste. Next station and hit paste. So at this point, we should have everything set up and you should be reading flow while you're watering a station manually or running a program automatically. So to test out the flow sensor, we're simply gonna go here from the home screen and go to manual station and start a station that you can probably see from where you're at, hopefully. And that way, when you turn the station on, you know water's running. And while that station is on, you can go right here to view flow and you'll see a live flow reading coming from that flow sensor. And if you do see a flow value and it makes sense to you, you'll know that you are set up correctly. So now that everything's all set up, we should get a flow reading. And with that, I'm gonna go here to manual from the home screen, hit manual station. And I'm gonna scroll down here to run type is gonna be a station. I've selected station, I don't know, 11, cause I can see it from here. I go to the hours and minutes and I give it 10 or 12 minutes. I'm gonna hit start. And while that station is running, I should be able to hit view flow. And it's gonna give me a flow value here on flow sensor number one. Now I don't have a controller set up or a flow sensor set up, so you won't see a value, but that's where you would do your, your testing. Okay, so now all the steps are done and we turn the station on. We're getting a flow value from the flow sensor while we're watering. So that's all in place and in order, but the controller does not know what limit each station is supposed to be allowed to go up to. So it has to learn a flow value. Um, it's a process called learn flow, and it is in the flow segment of the um, face panel. But when you start the process, it'll turn on each station individually. It takes a few moments for the controller to decide what value each station will be. When it decides that value for station one, for example, then it goes to station two, turns him on, decides his flow value or flow quantity, then it goes to station three. Um, again, it'll do all stations that have a runtime in the program, and it'll do it automatically once you start the process. So you can either do it now, or you can schedule to do that later in the evening at a more convenient time. That option is also there. So I'll show you where that is in the, in the uh, face pack. So now that we have a good flow reading, everything seems to be in order, we're gonna start the learn flow process. And for that, we're gonna to go to main menu. We're gonna scroll over to the chapter that is flow. And we're gonna scroll down to where it says learn flow and tap the dial. Now, when you hit the learn button here, it's gonna ask you, are you sure? And I can come over here and hit yes. And it's gonna go through the process and start learning each station individually. Let it do its thing. It might take a little bit of time, but it will finish assigning a value to all the stations and then it will give you a report when you're completely done. So that's the complete process to set up a flow sensor under flow monitoring um, in the ACC2 controller. If you have any other questions, reach out to our tech support call center at 1-800-733-2823 or go to our website at hunterindustries.com and go to the ACC2 webpage and there's lots of great documents to download. Thanks again.